So Skillshare Instructor Analytics, pretty simple to understand, but there are not quite a lot of information that you might want to know. But is it though? Maybe you are not just finding it. So in this video, I'm going to go through entirety of the Skillshare Analytics to explain every single thing and every single number that they are showing and giving you some insights that actually is not shown within Skillshare Analytics. So without further ado, let me just jump right into it and explain to you what everything in Skillshare Analytics means. So first things first, how to access Skillshare Analytics. When you open Skillshare.com, when you go to Skillshare, all you need to do is go to go towards the Teach tab, basically press it and go to your Teacher Stats. When you'll go there, you will go to your Teacher Stats, which is the handy name for the Skillshare Analytics. So here are all the numbers that you need, but there are actually some places that then more numbers are. So let's just go through this one first, and then we're gonna go through the other stuff later. So first thing that you are going to see is is these four numbers right here. It's total earned, total students, minutes watched, and reviews. So this is basically how much you earned on Skillshare until today, but not to the day because it updates only once a month on 16th of every month. Total students, which updates every single day. Total minutes watched, which updates every single day. And reviews, which updates as the reviews come. So this tab is an only thing that updates in real time. These two updates every single day and this one updates once a month. Just know this and understand this. This is a very important thing to, uh, to know over the future. So this tab that you see is if something will happen that will affect your income, this tab will uh, usually pop up. During the majority of the year, this tab is hidden, but it usually appears from January until the end of the April to show you that uh, the seasonality of the content is uh, a thing that on January you're gonna get less income on March you're gonna get more income etc etc this is usually not not here every time but if it will pop up don't forget to click help center just to know what is actually happening right here is last month's stats meaning that we are today in April 6 I'm recording this on April 6 but this is showing the stats for the March how many premium minutes I got and how many premium referrals I got it and they will pay for me on the 16th of April for the March. This, uh, by, by the way, actually allows you to calculate approximate income that you will get. Only thing that you can be certain for is your premium referrals because you know exactly how much you're gonna get paid. Each and every referral is $10. As for the premium minutes, on average, I'm, taking, I'm talking on average, you're gonna get paid from five cents to seven and a half cents per minute's watch. It can go lower, it can go higher. For the six months since I've been teaching on Skillshare, it has never gone less than five cents. It has never gone more than seven and a half cents. So you can calculate by multiplying this on the five cents and the seven and a half cents and you will have approximate amount of uh, money that you will gain from the premium minutes and you can add the premium referrals which is this number times 10 and this is the exact number that you will gonna get uh in the march not exactly it's approximate again this is not 100 percent this can change but know that this you can calculate approximate average as for the referrals we're gonna go through this a bit later so just stay put for that and right now are is actual charts so these charts are actually showing you your minutes watched how many minutes you got for each and every day and if you want to see the weekly view you can see right here if you want to go for the monthly view you're gonna see right here it shows you both your total minutes and premium minutes if you're interested more in income just shut down the total minutes and you're gonna see the premium minutes minutes only and this is exactly how much you earned uh not you earn like how much premium minutes you have it only shows you the last six months it's, it's not going to show you entirety of the time so if you want to record this information record because in the future it might just go away when you go down uh the same for the students these are the students that enroll to your courses this is a total number by the way this is not a course by course number it's a total number for all your courses no matter how many courses you have so these are just total number you can see exactly and last but not least for the uh, the main stats tab is your total earn and your uh, incomes basically this is i think uh, it will stay forever for every single month so you see here your total earned your royalties meaning that how much money you earned 
from the premium minutes watch meaning directly from the watch time and your premium referrals meaning that how much you earned from referrals this money is only to the date that it shows you like for example this is only for the until the february of 2020 this is not counting the march is not counting april is not counting any other months only until the february 2020 meaning that it calculates the entire income of february 2020 and all the income before that it gives you this number then if you go down you're gonna see an each and every single month's separate income this total earned or your royalties and your premium referrals the date it's paid etc etc if you press the premium referrals you are going to go there and see who subscribed through your link so if you want to see this you can go and see this now i promised you to go the premium referrals so if you want to press this one right here you are going to go to your premium referrals tab this is basically when you get uh, where you get your premium referral link if you copy this link right here and someone will subscribe uh, for, for the premium uh, of the skillshare through this link you're gonna get this premium referral again i am not sure and skillshare did not confirm which one is true when you're getting this money when person subscribes for the free trial or when he starts paying i don't know exactly this is the two months difference so i'm not sure exactly i think you are gonna get paid ten dollars when person is starting to pay meaning that when his two months trial is over i am not sure about this so don't quote me that i'm not sure about this but this is my opinion i think this is when it happens skillshare did not confirm neither deny it so i don't know exactly uh what it is right here it shows you your, your entire number of referrals including the month you're in this is the this information updates regularly this is the regular updates this is amount of they paid to you and this is the amount they have to pay to you this includes for me it includes for March and for April this is two months uh, so this uh, it shows you uh, the student names of course I'm gonna hide all the students names all right here and it shows you that whether it has been paid or it's been pending payout meaning that uh, pending payout basically it's not being paid as for the class right here it shows you whether they signed up through the general meaning through this link or through the specific links of the classes that, that I'm gonna show you just in a bit so this is very important to make money from from the skillshare because this is the most stable way to earn income because you know exactly how much you're gonna pay get paid from the referrals for each and every month now let's get back to the your teacher stats and now i'm gonna go through the stats and through the tabs that usually people are not watching through and i was not watching through as well and this is your all classes tab if you press view all classes right here or i think you can go we're gonna we can press teacher uh, teach and go the class you're teaching this is exactly where it will take you it will show you all the classes that you're teaching including their published including if they are closed etc et as you can see this class is closed for me and what is really important is that this is the place where you can get information through for the every single class in detail including the students themselves who signed up for your class for example if i'll go to this ultimate beginners guide to open broadcaster software i'm gonna press edit right here don't press the class itself i'm gonna go through the management tab right here i'm gonna press stats right here and this is the similar thing that was happening in uh the regular stats but this is what you but you will see here additionally you'll not see the money here what you will see is total visitors basically you see the impressions and the conversion rates meaning that how many visitors actually seen your class or got your class how many visitors transformed into students plus you're gonna see the total minutes watch and you're gonna see reviews as well we're gonna go through the reviews as well so if you want to go through this this is the daily minutes watched for each and every day you can see this for each and every day uh, you can go the weekly you can go the monthly if you want then you can go down see the same things for the students and what you're gonna see right here which is not available for the regular stats is the amount of visitors amount of students and amount of total minutes watched for each and every single day which is very very cool stat to see so as you can see on this day on saturday of 4th of april 25 visitors visited this class and only 11 of them transformed into students and i got 4 412 minutes premium minutes watched for uh, this class very cool thing that is not available unfortunately for uh, the main tab right here when you go to the management tab you see even students who enrolled on your class which is a very very cool thing to have i'm not sure about this but i think this updates 
uh, live. So uh, I, I see that there are some students. This is this is the times that they actually signed up. This is for my local time. This is not a like specific time zone. This is for my local time. Uh, each and every student. I can even visit those students if I want right here. There are all the names right here. As you can see, I have a lot of students. But let me just check if I can see the students live. If I go here and the students, uh, yes, I can actually see students live. This is the live uh, updates. You can actually count how many students are actually signing up for your classes, even without the Skillshare's uh, main tab, even because Skillshare's main tab updates only once a day and this one is updated daily so you will know, not daily like in, in real time so you will know exactly how many students you have even before the skillshare will update its stats if you have of course remember memorized and written down all the amount of students you had on the time when skillshare actually updated its uh status i'm going to tell you about the status refresh update in, in a bit uh right here you can see the reviews you can go and see for the class reviews this class actually has no reviews i think yeah it has no reviews so you, you're going to see right here all the staff and right here you can see the promote tab which is basically the same as referral tab but for each and every individual class so you can get this uh, link and share this link and the, when the students will subscribe they will get to your course and then if they will subscribe for, through a premium course then you can and get the uh, referral uh, bonus for that and right here is create a new link you have this a free access link if you want to give your class someone to someone for free they don't have a premium subscription and you don't want them to have a premium subscription just to, to make them watch your class you can say go create a new link right here and if you will share this link these classes will be free for everyone who is using this link. But yeah, if I'm not sure, if I'm not wrong, I think you can. Yeah, you can have, uh, you can restrict even the amount of links, and you can even restrict the amount of time uh, that they are available. This is very, very good thing. Uh, now let's return to the main stats. So one very important thing that Skillshare is not actually giving you information about, and I learned it by myself, is when actually Skillshare is refreshing their stats, like daily stats. They actually do refresh the stats every day at 11.15 p.m. PST. Remember this time, like changes to your local time zone. For me, it's 10.15 a.m. in the morning uh, in my local zone, but for, uh, the inter for international viewers, it's 11.15 p.m. PST. So you can uh, check the results if you want. Sometimes the stats do not update well correctly on that time. Sometimes it happened to uh, for me from time to time. I don't know why it happens, but sometimes it shows you zero minutes watched, even though you know that you have not zero minutes watched. It's regular. Uh, they regularly have, have any mistakes with the students because they show you exactly how many new students you got. But for example, on one day, like right here, I had 16 new students and I got zero minutes of watch time. So I knew that it was something wrong. And sometimes hour later it updates. So on 12:15 a.m. So hour later, it may update uh, as well. So you have to be very careful that just check this so two times if you want or just check after 12, 15 a.m. Uh, PST if you want to know exact results. Well, this is all about Skillshare analytics. Uh, these dates, these times are very, very important. If you want to see which classes are actually doing well and if you want to see which classes you can uh, make similar to, like for example, for me, like OBS class is doing great. So for that reason, I created another OBS class. I think it, uh, I created two other OBS classes which are doing good as well. So you'll know exactly which classes are working, you know exactly what people are looking for and you can create more of the classes about this if you want so. So plus you can get a, an understanding of approximately how much money you will be able to make next month. This is just an approximate. So you can again, the formula is calculate like uh, take your premium watch time and multiply it to a 0.05 first and multiply it, then it's 0.075 and this is like the minimum and maximum and then add minimum to maximum uh, uh then add referral income to minimum and then to maximum this is the approximate range that you'll get for me i'm actually using this calculation method i'm using this for with a shortcut on my ipad so if you want i i probably will make even a video about this just to make it easier for you just like just like that to calculate this income just very very simply very very easily well this will be it for today uh this video was a bit long and thank you for being here with me like the video if you like it subscribe for more videos like this one and i'm gonna see you in the next one see ya